it's Andrew again, and today I wanted to talk to you about some of the rendering and graphics tech that we're planning for Camelot Unchained. One of the questions we get asked a bunch by people who've heard about the game is, what engine are you using? You know, what's going to power all of this? And first, let me say, we are not doing everything in-house. One of the key things for this game, really the signature thing, is mass player battles. and. We looked out there and I've worked with a lot of different game engines and you know I've looked at even more and there's nothing out there that really supports that out of the box. And so for our character and animation and rendering on the client, we are going with a completely custom solution that we've developed. And you know, that's scary. You know, a lot of people say, Oh my gosh, you can't do that. That's you know that's never gonna ship, whatever. But what I wanted to do today was show you what we've got already working. So one of the little characters we have from March on Oz is a woman named Electra. And here's a demo that we put together. Um, entirely in-house tech, no you know, Gamebryo, no Unreal, no Crytek, just all of us going directly to the hardware. And as you can see, it's scaling up to 10,000 Electras all running around, and the frame rate is still glass smooth. And we had to give up some things to do that. You know, we are, do not have the absolute fanciest and best lighting, and you know, our environments may be a little sparse. But the point is, the core feature of our gameplay, which is a whole lot of characters going at once, is something that we can support and already are supporting. And you know, as you can see, it's running really well, and you know, we'll come back next time and show you some actual Camelot Unchained models running in this. Thanks.